Hi, I've got one more burial IPA to review. It's their Hawkbill India Pale Ale. This one is 6% alcohol, and I'm not sure if this is like the new formula of 2018 that is a return to the 2016 formula. They just posted on Instagram about that, how they weren't able to get enough Galaxy Hops um, to do what they originally did with this beer in 2016 and they were playing around with their yeast, um, but now it's supposed to be back in all of its glory and hazier or something. I've never had any Hawkbill ever. Um, and the one problem is that, if you can see, the packaging date is all smushed on there. I should be more obsessive and make sure I know the exact packaging date of things. All the other burial views are fresh enough. Um, I'm pretty sure that the last digit there is an eight, so this is packaged this year, so hopefully it's the new revamp formula, but I think we'll find out pretty quickly what it is, and uh -huh. looking pretty hazy, smelling very good already, oh yeah, and this one is also double dry hopped, and head looks pretty nice, soapy, some small bubbles, it's smelling very nice too, ooh, that's creamy. Already, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love this beer. Mm. It seems like it combines the aspects of the two other burial IPAs I had their lactose one and their more old fashioned one. That's a pretty beautiful beer right there. The head isn't gigantic and pour it so hard, but the fact that it's got a nice soapy head that's sticking around and it's this hazy is a good job brewing, basically. <laughs> And it's grassy. <sighs> Hints of eucalyptus, like this, the sort of green character I get from Galaxy, but more grassy and lots of creamsicle. But there's no lactose in this or any of that. <sighs> oh, I like that aroma a lot. Um, a little bit of like fresh barley too. And like sugared yet unripe tropical fruits. That's kind of a weird thing to say, but it seems like it's got a candy thing going on, but it doesn't smell crazy juicy. Mm. Pretty full mouthfeel for 6%. Oh yeah. And the finish is barely bitter at all. Really easy. Not much of a burn. This reminds me actually a little bit of Toppling Goliath. Um, their Mosaic Pseudo Sue. It's hazier, but it has that fresh hop grassiness and a little bit of barley toastiness and really easy finish and but super fruity oh yeah damn damn hopefully we may, maybe i'll be able to find this other places this is this very special drop uh, i only know of one liquor store that got burial beers around here but this is really good this is one of my I, i've been drinking way too many uh, hazy IPAs lately. Went on a trip to Portland, Maine. Um, before that, I was in the Midwest trying all sorts of new stuff too, and this is standing out amongst them. The mouthfeel isn't huge, but for six percent, it's it's good enough for me. A little bit creamy, not not super fluffy. Um, but the flavor is really nice, and it's really easy to drink. Goes down like they could. Call this a pale ale, like double dry up pale ale maybe. I did say it was remind me of Sudo Sue, which is also called a pale ale. Um, and it's also, you know, in the lower around 6% um, strength. But a lot of times these, you know, very like super low bitterness IPAs can be too sweet. Or have something that's, that's off putting about them. Something that's, you know, seems like it's really lacking balance. Even though it's like this beer. It's sweet, but it's got, you know, it's packed full of hops, so there is some kind of balance, but it's not a bitter and sweet balance. It's a, you know, savory, um, you know, green sort of thing balanced with the sweetness, but this is, this is a really good beer. I should stop, stop blabbering and just give this like a four and a half. It's nice. Maybe just under four and a half, but if you see this one, I would highly recommend it. Um, it's not far off from some of Hill Farmstead's pale ales, in my opinion. Mm. 
And now it's drying out a little bit, building up a little bit on, the, on my tongue, but not nearly as bitter or dry and like chalky as their um, <clears throat> Massacre of the Innocents Lactose Pale Ale or IPA. Um, my girlfriend liked that one a lot, but I just didn't like the like savory chalky finish. This doesn't really have that. There's a little bit, you know, sediment um, that gives you that slightly, you know, drying cat tongue, you know, feel, but it's not, doesn't actually taste chalky and it's not off-putting. It doesn't create a big burn in my throat. But yes, I, I like this one a lot. Wish I had bought a whole six pack of it. It's, it's worth that. And I'm guessing this is probably the new revamped version and, and it's, extra fresh um but i give this one close to a four or five it's it's a standout amongst dozens of hazy ipas i've had over the past few months highly recommended it's worth trading for i i would even say goodbye